Hello friends, I'm Eric Harrison. In this video, I am beyond excited to talk to you about the lessons I learned last year that helped me have my best year ever, regardless of all the turmoil and craziness that we all experience. Let's jump right in because I don't want you to miss any of the valuable messages I have to share with you today. Let me say from the start that the lessons I have for you today are not things that are going to revolutionize your thinking or behaviors. In fact, you'll likely have a tendency to think everybody knows that or I'm already doing that, but don't. Because like many of life's most important things, and as I say to everyone that I have an opportunity to serve, it may be simple, but it's not easy. So if you're like most people I talk to, you're tired, you're frustrated, and you're fed up with the way things are in the world. You're tired of the pandemic, you're frustrated that you cannot move around freely, and as a result, you're fed up with all the negativity in the world today. I have some good news, and I have some bad news. First, the bad news. I have no idea, and neither do you, if and when things are going to get back to normal. But the good news is, you can create an environment for yourself, starting right this minute, where despite what is going on around you, you are not just happy, not even content, but truly peaceful and grateful for everything that is happening right now. Let me share with you how. The first thing you have to do is come to accept that life is not perfect. I'm sorry to break that news to you, but it's true. But so many of us live with the idea that as soon as I get this, or as I lose that, or as soon as he starts doing this, or she stops doing that, or as soon as the economy, or the weather, or the calendar changes, then everything will be better. No, it won't. None of us, no one, including you, is perfect. And nothing is perfect, and they never will be. You have to choose to accept that. Now, will you be bitter, or you, will you be better? The choice, my friend, is up to you. Okay, so the next thing you have to accept is that the only thing that you have control over is this day, today. Sure, you can spend as much time as you want reliving the past, wishing things would have been better, or living with regrets for things you wish you had done or things you wish you hadn't said but it won't change one thing except to rob you of the opportunities that you have today. Likewise, you can also worry about the future, or maybe even when you think about the future, you're thinking about great things. But either way, the truth is, the majority of the things that we dream about or the things that we worry about in the future never come true. Isn't that haven't you found that to be true for yourself? I sure know I have. Unless we can live today to create the future we want tomorrow, <clears throat> that is the only way that we can impact the future. All the worries, all the fears, all the doubts, even all the things we hope for, we have to work to make those happen today. So, this is where we begin to discover perfect peace, despite life's imperfections. But there is one more important thing that you must do to create the life, the peace, and the legacy that you hope to create. And as I get ready to share that with you, let me just pause real quickly um, and, and ask you if a quick favor. If you're getting value out of this video, if you're enjoying what you're hearing, would you just kind of poke that like button for me? And would you even consider subscribing? Because my goal each and every week 
is to give you the aims, attitudes, and actions that you can take today that will cre begin to create the best version of yourself that you can possibly be. I don't want you to miss out on this, and I want to give other people every opportunity to hear this information so that they too can begin to create the best versions of themselves. Thank you so much for doing that. I really appreciate you hitting that like button and pressing subscribe. Okay, <clears throat> now the final thing that I wanna encourage you with is to find perfect peace within yourself despite life's imperfections is to consider facts and problems. Okay, what I, let me explain what I mean here. I find that far too many people are spending an inordinate amount of time worried about and focused on and being negatively impacted by facts that they not only have no control over, but they have no chance of changing. You need a couple of examples? Here's a fact. At the time of this recording, we're still in the middle of a raging worldwide pandemic. Fact. The disdain we have for people who vote differently than we do has never been as bad or as negative as it is right now. I could go on and on, but you get the idea. As an aside, I can tell you that one thing I did to promote my inner tranquility last year, as soon as the pandemic hit, is I turned off the television. I curate my own news sources and, but I just refuse to spend any time every day watching the news. You can make your own choices, but I can tell you that that simple decision worked wonders for me last year. Okay, now before you accuse me of being Pollyanna-ish, let me clearly state that we all have problems. Of course we do. I do, you do. Everybody you know does. We all have problems, problems that need to be solved. The better than good news is that you can work every day diligently to solve problems. In fact, I find the more problems I solve, the more I enjoy solving them. And the more problems I solve, the more peace I develop within myself, the more confidence I develop within myself. And I bet you'll find that to be true as well. So here's what I believe this message means for you. <clears throat> because they are the lessons that I learned last year, and I so want you to have these because, as I said before, despite everything that went wrong last year, despite all the problems, all of the negativity, <clears throat> I had one of the best most effective and most peaceful years I've ever had. If as, you, if as I say, you learn to accept life as imperfect and that the only thing you can work on is today and that you cannot change facts, you can only solve problems, then I believe you will find yourself on the road to success. And I believe at the end of 2021 that you will be able to say, I've had my best year ever. You're, you'll be creating more success for yourself, more significance for others, and most importantly, you will begin creating a legacy that will not only transform your life and the lives of the people you love, but it was, it's one that will outlive you and will continue to live on long after you're gone. So before you go check out another video on my site, I want you to resolve that you will accept the things you cannot change and you will have the courage and conviction to change the things you can. That, my friend, will lead you down the path of perfect peace. Thank you very much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in next week's video or in one of the dozens of other videos that are available on my site right now. Thank you for watching and God bless you.